So moving on to the feature race of day three. It is the Stairs Hurdle. And a quick run through the market behind us there. 2 to 1 Paisley Park, 4 to 1 Apples Jade, 11 to 2 Penn Hill, 6 to. He's out. <coughs> I was coming to that. <laughs> I was coming to that. Uh, 11 to 2 Penn Hill, who's not going to run. 6 to 1 Sam Crow, 15 to 2 Faheen, 17 to 2 Super Sunday, 14 to 1 Top Notch, 14 to 1 Black Op, and 16 to 1 Bar. I presume th this was done obviously before Penn Hill News emerged, so these <laughs> prices are probably a little bit shorter. They will all have changed, unfortunately. Keith Donahue, I want you to tell everybody here why Sam Crow is going to win the stairs hurdle. <laughs> Don't let me down. He needs a fence. He needs a fence. Yeah. No, well, there's no fences here now, right? There's no fences. He's in the stairs hurdle. He's six to one non-runner, no bet. Is he a good bet at six to one to win the stairs hurdle? You can be honest. On his form this year, no. No, I don't think so. He right. hasn't stepped up at all. He's not finishing out his races. I don't think he is, no. Well, was he not just sick? Have to get Hard to get over a lung infection. Yeah, so quick. Yeah. You're not feeling me with confidence here. No. So is is his work not as good as it was? Did yeah, he not I work did, well I last week? He did, yeah, he did. But he was working well before the other races too. Right. <laughs> that told me. Yeah. Yeah, you wouldn't be. You're not. You're not a fan at no. the moment. No. No. Do you think we'll ever I see the the Sam Crow we I hope we so will see? Next year, yeah. Yeah. Back over fences. And do you think he's got ba like? Do you think he's got a kind of a tough press? Do you think he deserves the, the criticism that he's got? Um, he's had no, like look at the horses he beat in the Valley Mall last year. They've been very disappointing this year too. Like yeah, Black Up, yeah. Next Destination was third. Obviously, we, we haven't seen. See but then the, the flip side to that, just to play and devils. He, you know, he beat other novice hurdles like Paloma Blue and that. They yeah, all haven't improved. Yeah, but either. wait a second now. You have to remember if you go back to the light novice hurdle, the Leopard Sound, he absolutely hammer charged you. He hammered yeah. Duke to Geneva, his fancy for the Arco. So he has beaten good beaten horses. Good horses, yeah. Um, I, I, do, do you, do you, have you ever been a huge fan of him? Uh, he has. He's always been very good, but what I never liked about him. His work is always very good, and he goes to a certain point, and he, and he actually doesn't go on. Right. And you, I always wondered what was actually underneath it. Turns out not a lot, is there? This year, anyway, yeah. yeah. But uh, obviously, hopefully, with a fence and all, and a bit softer ground next year, I'd say. Okay, so you wouldn't be a Sam Crow fan. Who do you think will win the stairs hurdle? Faheen. Right. <laughs> Jeez, you swear he's after winning. <laughs> uh, explain. Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> I know, he's, he's, he's a very, very good horse. He's a class horse in the race. Um, you know, let, let gets around the track, back up to three miles. I just think he's the one. Okay, so it's Faheen for Keith Donahue. Mikey, this race is made for you. A man that loves opinions. <laughs> I'm sure you've won on Sam Crow. I'm sure you've won on Faheen. And I want you to end whatever you're going to say with, this horse is a certainty. Uh, none of them are certainties, isn't it? <laughs> That's a good none. start. Okay, Sam, Fa Fa Sam Crow, first of all. Ah, no, sure. I agree with Keith. He couldn't have him this year. He's not, not finished out his races. And uh, ah, he's better than that. And he needs a fence. And... Uh, Always those hype horses anyway, sometimes. He's probably read the race and post and a few of your articles and said, oh, fuck. I'm, I'm so, uh, do you know what? I don't need to kill myself around the gallop anymore, so I'm just going to take a year off. This might be the only time that Michael O'Leary is right bringing down a horse. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you know, he doesn't hype them up like. Yeah. He might actually just Second season syndrome. Yeah. yeah. He might just be right like. Yeah, Faheen, sure. He, you know, if, he's a, if he was a human, you want to go for a pint with this lad. <laughs> he is the coolest horse, yet his ability, like he'd be one of those cool just customers and he's my favourite horse that I ever was around. I never rode him or anything, um, but um, John Codd rides him out every day and sort of Casey rides him in bits of work, but yeah, he, he'd kill horses like if he wanted, if he was on his day. I think he needs maybe good ground off for three miles over hurdles and um, David Mullins got a savage tune out of him last year. Um, nothing would have bet him that day, I don't think. But um, it's hard to know. He's 11, three mi it's a grueling race. I'd be more for uh, a few quid each way on Bacardi's. I, if oh. I, th I thought he was going all right when, when he fell last year. And I think Paddy gets on well with him as well. So um, he'll be ridden there to be, on, uh, to be coming up the hill. And look at you wouldn't go for a pint with Bacardi's though, would you? Do you know no. what I mean? Like He lets you down all the time. He wouldn't turn up or something. Yeah, I agree with you. But you wouldn't want to be drinking a pint of Bacardi either. Would you? But there's always one night some fucking 
lad can't gets, curse, you can't curse gets the fucking, way. you know, the prom <laughs> thing, you know. There's always one night when one lad's not there, you know, you just... And he's great crack. Yeah, you, you just get there. But um, Paisley Park, I don't even know who has that. Or, you know. Ah, come on, Mikey. Honestly, I, 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 was in, I was in Australia for a couple... I, was, I didn't see any racing only the last four weeks. So. Should have told us that before. No, before. but I, uh, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> Paisley Park, like, what oh, is that? that bit out. What is he like? Paisley Park is a very, very impressive yeah, winner. Well, I, I'd be challenge. shocked if it won the World Hurdle. Won't win, that won't win. Well, you've made a good point for, for, uh, for Paisley Park not winning anyway. No, I wouldn't like to look at that at all. Engli the English stairs, sir. That's weird, isn't it? The English stairs, uh, they need to be either big books, English driver, or something special because they're not going to be galloped as hard as the Irish horses. The ground is going to be shite. And look at Bar Paul Nichols and maybe Nicky, when it comes to those big grueling races, you need to be on the Willies, the Gardens, and maybe a lad from Galway called Pat Kelly, who's just a freak altogether. Uh, for me, it's Bacardi's each way. Uh, I, was, I wanted to back Penn, Penn Hill in this, so I was disappointed today that, that he's out. I, I just thought he was completely under the radar, and Willie did it last year with him. Anyway, that's irrelevant. Could be worse. could have backed him already. It could have backed him already, yeah. Could be way worse. Um, look, Paisley Park, you have to respect him. He's won the long walk hurdle, he won the cleave hurdle. He kind of... The, he had a flat patch in that cleave hurdle, similar to what English Driver used to do and Big Bucks used to do. They just, he just kind of came down the hill, he looked beaten, and then he picked up and he stayed on really well. So you can understand why he's favourite. Um, and that, that, the race is going to cut up as well. Like Apple's Jade, she's not going to run it. Penn Hill's obviously out. Uh, I think Super Sunday, isn't he going to run it now? Because they were talking about the champion hurdle for him. Yeah, I don't know if they've made a decision, but yeah. it's such a it's, 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 I suppose Penn Hill coming out as well is going to make it more attractive to run here. So he, like he's, he sets a, a high standard. Um, but like, and Fahin, if Fahin came back, back to his best, as Mikey said, or as Keith said, a champion hurdle winner, top class horse, he's a wee bit older now, you just don't know how he would have done the last eight at Leopardstown against Apples Jade, it was great to see him get up, that was the, the main thing with him, and he does, he does have form over three miles, so he's interesting if he were to come back, but it is hard for a, an older horse to win a stairs hurdle, like, the stats against older horses are very, very strong, I think 10 or, 10 or above. Uh, it's very rare you get it, like English River, Big Bucks, uh, Barracuda, they all tried it as, as 10 year olds and didn't win it. So it's going to be hard, but um, I can see him running a big race. It, uh, to me, it's a, it's a weakened race now with, with, with the defections and, you know, the lads, it's Sam Crow, I fully agree with the lads and Sam Crow. You, you definitely have to see him doing it before you, before you back him, for me anyway. So it's, it's not really a betting race for me. Um, Super Sunday, maybe. Okay. Lads, what do you think, uh, Dermot? The it's it's a, it's a head scratching race because of the so many question marks about so many. The minute are you a Paisley Park fan? Uh, I've been kind of taking them all all year, and he's kind of kept making a fool of me. Um, I thought that run last time at Cheltenham was obviously he finished off the race really well. I thought he picked up the pieces. I mean, Black Op and the the horses in front, they they rather kind of killed themselves in front really. When Simon Rowlands did a great piece on the actual fractions of the race, and those three died an absolute death coming to the last, and he was just kind of stayed steady because he was given much more of a, a conservative ride by Aidan Coleman that day. Um, so I think Paisley Park is somewhat flattered by that performance. Uh, I think the run before that as well, when you look at it, it's uh, Sam Spinner, who obviously has completely flopped this season, and you know what I mean, Harry, the two horses he, he was up against, both of them fell. Um, I'm not convinced, I'm not fully sure what the horse has done. You can see why he's two to one, he's won the right races. I think Black Op was kind of really killed himself that day. Kind of his first run of the season too, because every run over fences, he just couldn't jump a fence properly. Um, so 14 to 1 or so, I think he'll come on a bundle for that, even confidence-wise and everything else. And I just think Black Op, he does run well at Cheltenham. He has wanted three miles since he won his point to point as a, over three miles as a very young horse. And it just, at 14 to 1 or so, I think he, he really does represent a small bit of value here. I think, um, I think you're right. I think you're right. I think Black Hop is probably the one that's underestimated, especially after uh, Keith uh, bursting my Sam Crow bu bubble. Were you finished? You were going to mention something else? Uh, no, I was going to say, but obviously, emotionally, we all kind of want Fahim to win, really, as well. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <coughs> uh, Dean Ryan? Yeah, I've not a lot more to add than that. I mean, we've been talking about Black Hop on the race hour for the last few months, and they've absolutely made the right decision to abandon fences. I wasn't that disappointed at all with them behind Paisley Park. Um, I think there's plenty more from him to come. He's so tough. And if he gets his revs up, which I think he will, I think he'd jump a bit better too, I would imagine. Even that day jumping the fences, remember, he yeah. had butted every fence. That's, yeah. And he was still only seven lengths behind Lawson Translation that day. It kind of was coming together Staying just at the end of that last run. Like and 
if it comes together here, if you can get double figures, that price will change now because there's no Penn Hill. But if you can get double figures about him, I think he's a rock solid each way punt in, in a race. And he's got more to come. We know enough about Forheen. And if Forheen goes and wins this race, it'd be fantastic for racing. But I've got to go against Paisley Park at season. I'll take that off. And Mikey, what did you make of Paisley Park's first run of the season? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, you caught me on this one now. <laughs> Paisley Park. Um, Fair so, to and the about. sum up after that, probably the last three hours of trying to, uh, <laughs> trying to find a solution to the stairs hurdle. In one, two, or three words, what wins the stairs hurdle? Don McLean? Super Sunday. Yeah. Keith Donoghue? Faheen. Mikey Fogarty? Black Up. Well, yeah. no, I, I, but, uh, like, I, you, I said each way on Bacardi, so but you asked me what wins. Okay. Yeah, Black Op to win at Bacardi's each way. Okay, nice little forecast there. Black Jeremy up. Dolan? Black Op. Dean Ryan? Black Op. And I'm going to say Sam Crow. Uh, I think Sam Crow could just outclass him, but time will tell.